Maybe I am a big fan of refined sugar, secretly. <laughs> Monk fruit. Monk fruit. What is it? What can it do for me? It's gotten a lot of hype lately, so let's get to the bottom of it. Uh, in Chinese, it's called Luohan Guo. Luohan actually means arhat. So those of you who are not up on your Buddhist terms, arhat is a level of enlightenment of a Buddhist monk. Uh, so therefore, instead of calling it arhat, which a lot of people don't know what that word is, they just translated it as monk fruit. This is what a monk fruit looks like. Monk fruit is traditionally used for sore throats. So basically what you do is you buy the monk fruit, which is about the size of a small orange, I would say. It's dried, you boil some water, you put the monk fruit in, and then you drink that water, and that helps soothe the throat. A lot of stage actors in China or singers, they definitely use boiled monk fruits to help soothe the throat. Monk fruit sweetener, which is usually what we think of when we say monk fruit, is actually not the sugar of monk fruit, but it is an antioxidant, a very unique antioxidant that they find in monk fruit. And so when you extract that, it actually is 100 to 250 times as sweet as refined sugar. So when we say monk fruit sweetener, that's actually what we mean. Zero calories, zero carbs, no sugars. Monk fruit is an awesome replacement for refined sugar, especially if you want to put it in your coffee or your tea or perhaps some baked goods. It does have a little different flavor that you need to get used to, but other than that, it doesn't have all the phlegm and all the weird stickiness you get in your mouth if you eat a lot of refined sugar. Now throw your monk fruit at subscribe and crush the antioxidant out of the like button. And if you have any other topics you'd like to hear me talk about, leave those in the comments below. A stevil, oh, stevil, stevia of enlightenment. Just like, that's why it's monk fruit. It's the stevia of enlightenment. That's why it's called monk fruit. Monk fruit.